different kinds of sensors offer critical feedback for the operation of your car. Gear shifting is tracked by the transmission speed sensor, which should not be confused with a wheel speed sensor. Despite being durable, they can still fail. In this short video, we will discuss the signs of a bad transmission speed sensor, what causes its failure, and how much it will cost to fix. It's Max the Car Guy. Subscribe and let's get started. Check Engine Light the PCM of a vehicle uses the transmission speed sensor to calculate the vehicle's speed and the best gear to use for efficiency. The information required to perform these calculations is lost when a transmission speed sensor malfunctions. The PCM then assigns a diagnostic trouble code that describes the problem and warns the driver by turning on the check engine light in the gauge cluster on the dashboard. For example, DTC P0500 vehicle speed sensor malfunction or P0720 output shaft speed sensor codes might show up to confirm the problem. An ESP bass warning light may illuminate on some cars, erratic or harsh shifting. The failure of this vital component can result in erratic shifting because the transmission speed sensor of a vehicle collects data that is used to determine shift timing. When this happens, a transmission may shift early or late. Lack of speedometer operation. Some cars use the speedometer to translate feedback from the transmission speed sensor into displayable speed readings. When this feedback is absent, speedometer performance frequently suffers or deviates from normal behavior. Cruise control failure. Data from the transmission speed sensor is also used to keep the cruise control feature operational. In many cases, if the transmission speed sensor feedback is compromised, cruise control will be turned off as a safety measure. Reduced fuel economy. Failure of the transmission speed sensor can prevent the torque converter from engaging at the ideal time because data from this sensor is needed to calculate the appropriate timing of torque converter lockup. Fuel economy frequently suffers as a result. Causes. The elements usually cause transmission speed sensors to malfunction in the end. During a speed sensor's lifetime, rainwater, road salt, and dust all wreak havoc on the sensor, frequently leading to structural deterioration. Failure is imminent as the sensor becomes more fragile. A vehicle's transmission speed sensor's integrity can also be jeopardized by improper maintenance. If a vehicle's transmission fluid is not taken care of, the magnetic probe of a sensor of this kind is prone to becoming covered in sludge. In turn, this ultimately shortens the lifespan of the transmission speed sensor in a car. Replacement cost. Due to differences in labor and part prices, the cost of replacing a transmission speed sensor varies considerably depending on the vehicle model. Fortunately, this repair is typically not prohibitively expensive and can be finished in less than two hours. Of course, there are unique or specialized cases that must occasionally be taken into account. The typical cost to replace the transmission speed sensor in your car is about $175 to $350. The majority of the cost is typically made up of labor costs that will be around $125 to $250. Parts will cost you around $50 to $100. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.